Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at some audio options to hopefully prevent you from being that guy in the multiplayer lobby. We all know the one. Okay, getting into the video, uh, we'll be taking a look at some different microphone options for the ROG Ally. So we'll be taking a look at the microphone on the ROG Ally itself, the uh, HyperX earbuds that I've got. I'll post a picture, but I'm not going to bother posting a link because I don't recommend them. I don't like the earbuds on them. They don't really stay in the ear that well. We'll take a look at the ROG Clavis, which is a uh, headphone DAC for USB -C, over USB-C. You can use it with the computer. You can use it with your mobile phone. Uh, so we'll take a look at that with the noise gate on there. And then we'll also be taking a look at the BenQ Travoli U speaker. Uh, now this speaker was sent to me by BenQ. They didn't really give me too many parameters on what to do with it. They just said, hey, yeah, just test it out. It might be okay for Discord and like kind of handheld mobile gaming if you want a little bit better sound. Uh, so I did test it out. Um, so I tested it out on a Zoom call with my mom when I first got it. And honestly with that, so we were just talking and we sounded clear to each other. Uh, there was no complaints. She said I sounded a little bit more on the tinny side, but if that, like if she didn't know I was testing a new speaker, she wouldn't kind of think anything of it. Um, and yeah, so I got her to play some music in the background just on her phone. So she was playing music like half volume on her phone, uh, kind of chest level. And I could not hear a thing from it, from this speaker uh, with the noise cancellation technology in it, or the echo cancellation and noise reduction. So it um, has three different sound modes. So it has a music mode, a video learning mode, and live learning mode. So we were talking in that live learning mode. So that's where it'll do the noise cancelization. Uh, music mode will give you like kind of the most pure type signal for listening to music. Um, I wouldn't recommend using the video or vocal learning modes, anything like that for gaming because the audio is very poor for a full sound you it's more so focused on voice it's going to boost the treble up a little bit um so it's a dual uh dual driver design so it's got a tweeter and a woofer uh they didn't really give me the size on it so they just have a reported range of 60 to 20,000 kilohertz uh reported time of uh 12 hours depending on your scenario i did do some battery testing on it so at half volume i played it for four hours and after that four hours i looked at my phone with the battery level percentage on it and still said it was at 100 percent. so you know what i'm kind of inclined to believe that yes this can last up to 12 hours depending on your usage uh charging time it'll take about three hours to get over 80 percent charge and that's only a five volt charge but they do include the USB A to USB C cable there um and yeah honestly there's not really too much else to say about it so gaming with it it's i wouldn't recommend gaming for it because the bluetooth audio delay is just too much for me uh, i could get away with it in forza or like kind of story driven games single player games but i definitely wouldn't use it for any type of multiplayer audio centric games not by any means if you want to use it as like a little bit of music in the background where you're listening to music and then playing some games by all means yeah go for it uh, but for my testing with it you'll see that we're just going to be testing like kind of the microphone quality and see how that sounds through the game uh, playing through the speaker as well so what we'll be doing we'll just kind of get into the actual like testing footage and everything but just a couple more things about the speaker uh, yeah like I gave it to my mom so she's a court reporter uh, so I gave it to her for work so she does a bunch of video calls and stuff for because uh, since COVID they moved to online uh, court proceedings for the, some of them uh, they are slowly kind of but anyway <laughs> um, but yeah so she used this for work and she said yeah it was actually kind of perfect for her situation the noise background cancelization stuff like it, would, it worked out perfect there was no talk back from the microphones or anything like that or like from somebody having their laptop turned up way too loud that seemed to cancel out any of that she didn't hear like any talk like herself talking through anybody else's speakers so that was a plus and not that it was kind of like an asked thing but nobody complained about her microphone quality. Um, she didn't want to interrupt court, obviously, to say, hey, how does the Ben Q speaker sound, guys? My son would like to know. Um, but anyway, so yeah, beyond that, I wouldn't recommend it for gaming, to be honest, uh, just because of the delay again. But for using it as a microphone, you'll see that it actually is kind of viable. So we'll get into the actual testing. This is a test of the BenQ Trovolo U microphone. 
with the game connected to the speaker, no game sound playing. And this is a test with game sound playing through the back of the speaker. And also I'm getting louder with the engine revs. It's having a harder time canceling out the, the noise of the engine over my voice. But as you talk more, it does kind of normalize. But at times, you will be fighting with it. Not to mention the sound coming through the speaker in the speakerphone mode is garbage for game sound. I would not play a game with this. This is a test of the single presenter conference call. No game sound. High noise canceling. This is a test of the same mode with gameplay in the background. Revving the engine. This is a test of the multi presenter conference call at noise canceling high. This is a test of the same with gameplay in the background. Revving the engine. This is a test of the high quality mode, the carteroid mode. Mode. This is a test of the same mode with gameplay in the background, revving the engine. This is a test of the stereo mode. This is a test of the same mode with gameplay in the background. And finally, this is a test of the omnidirectional mode. This is a test of the same mode with gameplay in the background. This is a test of the HyperX earphones that I have with no background noise. And obviously, because you would be playing through the headphones, I would assume that there wouldn't be too much background noise. But for reference, I'm snapping my fingers in the background fairly close to the microphone. And it's only when I get this close that you can hear it. This is a test of the HyperX earphones that I have with the microphone effects turned on in the Realtek audio console with the AI noise reduction. Snapping my fingers. You can only really hear it when I'm talking. This is a test of the HyperX Mini earphones with the Forza Horizon 5 noise coming through the Ally speakers. This is with the AI noise reduction on. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two. This is a test of the HyperX earphones with the AI noise reduction off. This is a test of the same with noise in the background from the speakers. This is a test of a HyperX microphone with all noise cancellation stuff turned off on the ROG Clavis. I am now turning on noise gate, which is supposed to use the small little microphone that's on the ROG Clavis, I guess, and kind of take that into account and cancel out noise. You cannot hear my snapping at all. This is a test with perfect voice and noise gate turned on. I am still speaking at the same level, and I'm just talking randomly now just so you can hear how my voice sounds coming through this microphone. And now I have the AI noise cancellation turned on to the boom microphone. I am now going to change it to an inline microphone, and you can hear that it kind of changed the tune of my voice there a little bit. I'm kind of listening to this back live as well. Uh, so here's me snapping in the background. And yeah. Other than when you can hear it picking up when I'm snapping right beside the mic, only when I'm talking. It does sound a little bit more kind of muddy, but I do sound more clear, I would say. This is a test of the HyperX headphones with the ROG Clavis playing game. This is with all AI noise cancellation turned off and the ROG Ally speakers at 100%. This is with noise gate. Perfect voice and noise cancellation turned on. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Now, just because I feel like I didn't give a fair shot to the BenQ Travolo U speakers, uh, microphone at least, 
Uh, this is just me talking through it through Discord, recording the other end, and this is just how the audio sounds clear. And I'll just continue on with the rest of the video using this as the microphone. So to kind of wrap things up, um, the most important thing that you want to do is set your microphone to push to talk. Don't leave it open, please. There is a setting uh, in the ASUS ROG Allies Armory Crate that you can set a hotkey to turning the microphone off and on. You don't even need to go in game and set a, uh, a push to talk button. So you can leave your microphone in game as just straight up open, and then you can just hard cut your microphone from the ROG Ally. And I'll show in the background here how to do that. Um, so beyond that though, the Travolo U speaker's microphone, uh, like the microphone itself is really decent. I like it for the video learning aspect and I'm going to be starting school soon. So this will probably actually come in handy for that for some e-learning classes as well, because I think it's like a hybrid type thing. Um, but yeah, beyond that, the ROG Clavis, it uh, is pretty good. Uh, the microphone, it does seem to boost up the quality a bit especially in the last bit when i was talking there it seemed like just i don't know kind of seemed better than the other tests i'm not sure uh but yeah so i would recommend the rg clavis just for its audio quality alone um i have been using it to like edit videos when i was doing the rog ally challenge that's why i got it because i couldn't use my sound card obviously on my rog ally because it's a pcie sound card so I was using that the whole time. And yeah, for the headphone quality sound, it's amazing. It's it's pretty darn good. You get the master quality audio settings. So if you do, uh, I can't remember the hi-fi quality music services like Tidal, I think is one of them. If you subscribe to things like that, then you can take advantage of those master quality audio tracks, which is really nice. If you haven't listened to those before in a good set of headphones, you're kind of in for a treat. Uh, that's not to say you're going to be able to drive super hard uh, headphones on this, but you're going to get decent sound quality out of like some earbuds or just some general over the ear headphones. Uh, for the BenQ Travolo speaker itself, I wouldn't recommend it, honestly, for handheld gaming, in my personal opinion. Um, what it is, is a complement to handheld gaming, I would say. You can use it as a microphone, just strictly as the microphone for your Discord chat, and this is how you can sound. It sounds a lot better than the ROG Ally speaker, in my opinion. And then you could use uh headphones if you have a decent set of headphones that don't have a, uh, a microphone on it like i have the final headphones that are actually a lot better than the hyper x but the final headphones don't have a microphone on it so for that case that's what i would be doing i would use the final headphones and then yeah i would just fire up the travolo for the microphone it's going to last 12 hours so it's going to last way longer than i would probably ever have a chance to play so that's a plus um to wrap things up though yeah just Honestly, the best things you can do, set your thing either to push to talk or get that microphone disable on off option. As well, um, get a good quality microphone if you can. See if you can test out uh, your mics with Discord and with your buddies and things like that. And don't be afraid to try to return them or uh, test them out different ones. Like, you know, uh, these HyperX ones, I wouldn't recommend them. I'll post the picture here finally, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend them at all. Uh, yeah, to wrap this whole thing up, uh, just honestly utilize those AI noise cancellation features. They do seem to help in certain scenarios, as you could see. Um, but yeah, let me know how you guys operate your uh, microphone. If you play multiplayer a lot on the ROG Ally, let me know what your audio solution is looking like for you. Are you using like an external speaker? Are you using a headphone microphone combo? Uh, yeah, just let me know. Uh, hit me up in the comments and we'll just chat. Before we go, thank you for my members, uh, Roy Wayne, Roy Watney, Darkstar, Amoa, Rico1217, and Joey VR. As always, just thanks for helping support the channel. I really appreciate it. As well, thank you for everyone who subscribes to the channel. I know I don't ever ask it, but I just, I'll throw out a thanks and a general appreciation for it, just, you know, because it, it is kind of a big ask these days. So I appreciate it for each and every one of you that subscribes and comments and likes and dislikes and does whatever with the, con uh, the video. Uh, that's what it's there for, for people to react and do whatever with. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, but as always, I hope everyone has a great day.